Today we're working on the skyline and we are about to hang up the front clip to weld it on. So by the end of this video the skyline should be one piece which is huge. Are you in, in the spot or not in the spot? I'm in the spot I think. Uh oh, does this hole not work? Does this hole not work? You tell me. Oh, keep doing that. Oh. Oh yeah, right there, right there. Yeah, no problem. Okay, okay, it's threading <laughs> correctly now. Look at this big guy. Look at this big old dude. He's lifting a whole skyline with one arm. Too easy. You pussies can't do that. Oh fuck, that kind of hurt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the other night when we got the front end on, I noticed that this corner right here was hitting the firewall. Uh, you can see it's a little bit bent, but this was baking it so that the rest of the inner fender well and the frame rail wouldn't line up with the firewall. So I needed to take the front clip back off a little bit, and now I need to trim this. And I also need to make a couple of holes for some plug welds from the bottom side to here. Alright, that piece has been trimmed and the holes have been added for plug welds. Now I'm going to go ahead and try to fit up the front clip onto the rest of the skyline. See if we can get it on there right. I hope so. So since we're doing things, anybody want to explain what's going on? With the jig over here that Jonas made, we still had some gaps in the back of the fender well to the firewall, which led us to believe that something wasn't quite right. So we took the jig off and kind of held it in place and that side lined up really well, but the side that was in the accident didn't seem to. And after Jonas took some measurements, um, we think it was pretty dang square. Uh, so we're just gonna, I think Jonas is gonna toss a couple tacks on to relieve the man's strength from holding it up a little bit and that way we can kind of move it around and make sure. The man's strength that's lacking. <laughs> Everybody's and, uh, whining about stuff. Hopefully, hopefully it turns out to be square. The thing is it's a tack so you can always cut the tack off and prep more. Yay. So Jonas did a really smart thing too. He reached out to local folk or anybody really who had one of these and said, hey, can you measure these points? And got a variety of results back, actually. Differences between the measurements I got from people on Instagram that were different by like two, two and a half inches from chassis to chassis. So I think as long as we get the front end on and square, it should be pretty close to within spec. Kind of don't have another choice. Yeah. Tried to find measurements on the internet and they don't, don't exist. exist. Yep. 100%. I think I'm gonna- this thing- it, I'm gonna stitch all of this too. Yeah, and from the factory, it's spot welded. <laughs> which is like, fucking terrible. Yeah. I mean, yeah, what you're doing is probably way stronger. I'd like to think so, I just, I well, worry- The thing is, if you do go 100 mile an hour entry, It'll be fun. It'll be fun, and if it hits something, it's gonna bring the rest of the car with it. Bracing <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, thank you. It's a car! Boy, the moment. <laughs> yeah, the whole thing falls off. Hey yo. Oh, the bucket's still in there. The bucket's still there, but that's fine. Clank. Thank you guys so much. Jonas has a full car. Michael Aye. has most of a car. Fuck yeah. <laughs> we need to get that thing yeah. sanded and primed. Yeah. It came from Canada, which was one of the first 
It is on its own. But I think it had like two owners in Canada. Yeah. And then it came here, and then I bought it from Mr. Higashi. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Skyline. <laughs> It's a skyline, it's a whole ass car again, dude. I've been waiting so long for this. I like, words don't do it justice. I'm like, my heart is full. This is fucking amazing. There's still a lot to do here. Lots of stitch welding to do. Need to take all of the old seam sealer off still and rust treat inside the seams and then seal the whole thing back up again prime paint all that stuff it's a it's a long way but this is a huge step and this is what i've been working towards it's been six months since i, I first started working on the skyline again and almost all of that work has been to get this front clip back onto the car and so to have it tacked up there is huge. I'm stoked. finished up rust treating and prepping these pieces down here for welding they're all looking pretty good I'm gonna go ahead put some weld through primer on them and uh, get things on the car I'm also working on these pieces right here trying to get them all rust treated I've done it about three times now and I'll go over this with a flappy disc one more time and then I think we'll be ready to put weld through primer on these two pieces as well and get those under the car. That piece goes where the open frame rail is and it connects to the bottom of the front clip kind of under the car. All right, everything is rust treated and coated with weld through primer. So I'm gonna go ahead and start sapping things on the car. I have the passenger side piece welded in. Everything's spot welded all the way through now. So all that's left is this little piece here and then the brace that goes right there. So getting closer. I'm gonna move over to the driver's side now and put on that same piece over there. Should be pretty good. So I got the second one on down there. It's all welded up. I also got this dude welded on. It's uh, nice and solid. Looks pretty good. Still need to weld. Do one more plug weld, or I guess two up here. But it was getting really hot over here. Uh, I don't want to burn the car down. So I'm moving over there. And I'm going to plug weld this guy on. Where is it? Where did I put the plug? The fire extinguisher. Oh my god.
front clip is now fully welded onto the skyline. Everything I want to be stitch welded is stitch welded and I'm so stoked with the outcome of this whole thing. So I decided to stitch weld this piece, this whole little box here, as well as this brace. And I also stitch welded down in here at all along the firewall on both the engine bay side and down here in the wheel well. This side was not the prettiest. Yeah, this, this stuff was not the best, but pretty freaking confident that everything's gonna be okay. So I did the same thing on this side. All on the wheel well. This wheel well looks a lot better than the other side does. I only stitch welded down the frame rail on this side and that side. I didn't stitch weld all down in here. I didn't do that on the other side. You know, I'm, I'm leaving this seam here alone. I'm not stitch welding in here uh, like I originally thought I was because with all of this stuff stitch welded and plug welded, I am very confident that the front end is going to stay on the front of the car. I also really like crumple zones. So I don't want to stitch weld the whole front end and then have like a minor crash in the front right corner that ends up moving my strut tower a bit because the whole thing's just stiff in the front. So my hope is that things are really strong right here and in between the firewall and the front clip but in front of the strut towers and you know at least two of the strut towers is you know still has its normal crumple zone more or less man i'm not like i'm not an engineer i don't know what i'm doing i'm i'm guessing at things here it's just the way i'm doing it and that's my explanation for it hope you guys enjoyed this video um i am so happy to have the skyline as a shell um again because three months ago that felt like it was years away and to see it like in front of me and like it's it's sick thank you guys for all your support and there's a uh, still a lot to do on this car but this is a huge milestone so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video give it a like leave a comment uh share it with your friends and family yeah We'll uh, see you in the next one.